in this month, Lighthouse Chapel is not having it easy. Because just a few days ago, a woman called Justina Collingwood. This woman was exposing Lighthouse Chapel for this whole beloved, beloved thing. I made a video about it. People shared their opinions. Fine. Now, Lighthouse Chapel has dragged one of their former bishops to the police station to return a car that they gave to him as a gift. The thing is quite complicated, but yes, we'll talk about it. The whole thing sounds like you are you you and your ex have broken up. And now you are telling your ex that hey, bring all the things that I bought for you. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it. I'm the head of City by this headless reactions. I like that. Service I've 
have done. You gave me the car, you gave me 300,000. Now you are telling me to bring the car, I will not bring it. And they've been pulling this matter from January. We are now in July. That is why the church has taken the case to the auto theft unit of the CID. That if we are telling you to bring the car and you will not bring it there, go to the police station. We've reported it. Go and give the car to the police. Let us take it from the police. Now when they took him to the police station, or they invited him to the police station and he finished talking to them, he made a video explaining certain things. This is the video he made. Watch this video. Oh, praise the Lord. Hello, everybody. Um, I just came out of the police headquarters. I was invited to the CID headquarters. Today, I've been accused of stealing this car that I'm in. I've been driving around everywhere. A letter has gone from Kofi Ohina Sari. Um, they say it's a bishop of Lighthouse Chapel and they claim they, I was in their employment and the car they gave me for my official duties when I left the employment, I, I just took it away and they've tried on many occasions peacefully to ask me to bring the car back and I refused and they've done a petition to the Director General of the CID, can you imagine? And in their petition, which they could not officially give me a copy, but they made me look at it before they took my statement. They did not make mention of the meeting at the Kodesh on Thursday, December, is it Wednesday, December 14th? Or Thursday, December 15th, one of them. I think it was Thursday, December 15th. There was a meeting at the Kodesh this petition did not say anything about that meeting. At that meeting, present at that meeting, were eight solid men of God. Men of God, I believe, who are supposed to be men of truth. Ishmael Sam, Emmanuel Luis in Tefo, Masal Abwaji, Kakrabaden, Ni Ajedu Amar, Prince Adai, who have I left out? Yes, my own Steve Asari. And uh, last but not the least, Prophet Kakra Baden. Um, I don't know if I mentioned him already. Then Archbishop, my brother Archbishop Christian Pofu. Now, this meeting was supposed to oversee my separation from Lighthouse. And I asked that they recuse the Archbishop because... Even when you go to court and the case comes and the judge is related to the one of the complainants, he recuses, he's recused. That's why that word is the recuse. If they need an archbishop, there are two archbishops. There's Archbishop Patrick Bruce, who could have come to sit on this case. But I don't know. They, they made my brother sit on it. And I protested throughout as he was reading I protested. You don't have to do this. And Prince Adai cut in. Should he not do his work? I said, he's dealing with his own brother. You got to recuse him. But I don't know. He trusts he trust them. I don't trust anybody in Lighthouse, especially their leadership. I don't trust them. So he continued and he read. And I remember because they didn't give me a copy. And that's why I've mentioned their names. They are key witnesses in this case. Because Kofi Ohinia Sari is claiming that I stole the car. He did not mention even once that the car was given to me as a gift. You know? So, the only witnesses who actually admit that this car was given as a gift at least are these eight people who were there. On that day, I took a witness along, my own son. But I was told that they won't let him be in because I could see a day like this will come when I need a witness. And these guys won't give you a copy of your document. You are all aware. I mean, pastors and bishops of Lighthouse, you've all signed various forms and all those things. And of course, nobody has been given a copy. You don't have a copy, but you sign them. They're binding you. You can't do things. So now, when he was reading, he came to my package. And the package was in two parts. 
Lighthouse Chapel International because they were paying my salary. They were giving me two years salary as I'm going. I'm grateful. I've spent almost all. I'm grateful. It's it, it helped. Then, Healing Jesus campaign. You know, and Lighthouse, I've worked with Lighthouse since 2018. But Healing Jesus, I've worked with since 2006. So they also graciously gave me a cash package. And they said they are giving to me as a gift my official vehicle, this beautiful Chevrolet Tahoe that I'm in. They said they give it to me as a gift. So after this, I sent a message. I thanked Prophet Dagewad Mills. He responded. I sent it by WhatsApp. He responded. And then things started going downhill. Why downhill? Because I still protest on my innocence. I am I'm, I'm, I don't have to be dismissed. The word dismiss should not even be used on me. And if you ask me what I'm looking for, that's all I'm looking for. In the case of Kapos, we goofed. You can suspend me, yes, for being rude to Steve Asari. I had to. I had to. You, you, he cannot continue talking down on people like that. And he lied. And we won't go to the merits of this now. But Arthur Dixon, you know, as we're getting myself tickets, the same problem they had with me, Steve Asari getting my ticket. And you all call Bishop Prince. Bishop Prince broke at something with you, but Steve Asai will not budge. And he dares to call me in the night and talk down on me. How dare him? If I had not said what I said to him, I would not have been happy. And then moreover, I was told that I was supposed to get all my entitlements. No entitlements, but my, my pay and whatever is in addition. And we know in December. We know what comes in, 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 in addition. We know about the 13th and 14th month. I won't go into that. So I pestered Steve Asai for that. And I also kept calling him a liar because he lied against me. I, I don't even see that as an insult. That's what he is. When when I, I think of lies, I think of uh, Steve Asari, you know. I I, and I, I think of Kofi When I When I think of lies, I think of Kofi Ahinyasari. You Kofi Ahinyasari, you've been a bishop for how long? Not even a year. Yet you come and stand in front of a gathering like that in Maldives and say, me, Kapos, I cause confusion every time at meetings. How dare you? Now you take a letter to Director General of CID and you go and lie to them. Have you guys forgotten about Oko Mensa? Don't you get embarrassed a bit? Yet, don't you have a little feeling? Don't you just get embarrassed? So fine, no problem. We are, we are there writing my statement on Wednesday we all meet, you know, and the funny thing is that you guys, anyway, I'm, I'm not going to say that one, but you know that it's a gift. If any of these eight bishops I've mentioned say that this car was not given to me as a gift, then they are not men of God. It was given as a gift. And now you say you are taking a gift away. Fine, that's different. But don't say it's not a gift. Say you gave a gift and you are taking it away. Now, can I also come back for all my gifts from you? My tithes are gifts. My offerings are gifts over 27 years. Who do you see asking for gifts back? Are you guys that mean? Are you all not supposed to be family? Anyway, next week, Wednesday, we'll see. And you'll all be updated. Bye. Peace. Hey, when they ask, like, July is not a good month for Lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> It's like July is not a good man because at this point today, July is just giving lighthouse or to, to but still lighthouse the church is can't. I now I know this kind of these kind of topics are somehow emotional to a lot of people. Share your views in the comment section. Don't insult and also yes, just share your views. Do you think what the church is doing is right? Do you think if somebody has served you for all these years and then something happened? And you people don't like the way he spoke to some of the senior ministers or the senior bishops. And so you tell him, okay, we are sacking you from the church. And you sack him and give him the car and give him the, the money. Can you come back and say, hey, because you started insulting us on social media, give us the car and the money. Is it right? And also it's very interesting how this man has been using the same car. From 2016 that they gave the car to him, no? They didn't give him the car papers. They didn't register the car in 
his name. They didn't do change of ownership. From 2016, he assumed the car. Huh? 2022, even before Star came in, he said, okay, the car that you've been using from 2016 till now, no, take it. And so loud that they said take it, no, they still didn't give him the car paper, so. And now that Yawa has come, they are telling him that, you know what, we wanted to give you the car papers. But this one that you are insulting us, we will not give you the car papers, we will not do the change of ownership. So still, no, the car is for us, so bring the car. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you think. Do you think what the church is doing is right? Or you think they should just let it go? Because what is a, a church without forgiveness? Christ preaches forgiveness. Or you think Papa Nyeshe, Abami Nyeshe, if we've given you something and you are still insulting us, then give us our thing back so that if you insult us, we know that you are insulting us. But if the church has been good to you, why should you insult the church? Let me know what you think about this whole situation. Share your views in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. And to the lighthouse people, unsubscribing because of these kind of stories that is coming about your church. No? If something comes about another person next week, are you coming back to come and subscribe? Or what? Don't be an emotional subscriber. <laughs> I don't be an emotional subscriber. A same number. Any year can be. Any year church. It doesn't mean we hate your church. It doesn't mean we hate you. And I don't know. Watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about headless. Yeah, then. Yeah,